Back now at 8.09 with our exclusive interview with Justin Bieber's mom, Patty Millette. By the time she gave birth to Justin at just 18 years old, she had already survived many challenges. And now she's sharing her story in a new book. She sat down with Kathy Lee. Kathy Lee, good morning to oh, you. Oh, good morning. Yes. So before you can really appreciate the journey that Justin Bieber took to get where he is today, it's very important to look at the journey his mother, Patty, has been on. I recently spent time with them in Los Angeles to chat about Patty's new book, Nowhere But Up, the story of Justin Bieber's mom. Patty Millette is watching her son at work. <laughs> Most people, their babies fly a little bit and go to college, fly a little bit, you know, get a job. Yours goes around the world as one of the biggest pop stars ever. Big as in nearly 28 million Twitter followers, more than 46 million Facebook fans, three studio albums, all platinum, a new world tour, and he's only 18. When you think about the fact that Justin is now the exact same age that you were when you had him, does that blow your mind? It does. I mean, I can't picture him raising a child right now. <laughs> Please, he, God. <laughs> he is a child. But you were too. I didn't feel like I was, but seeing him, I, I clearly was. But yeah, I had to grow up pretty fast. By the time Patty Millette gave birth to Justin, she had lived a very difficult life. Patty says her troubles date back to her childhood. As early as age four, Patty says she was sexually abused. So many young people that are abused sexually, um, it just becomes something that they're familiar with and something that they're almost attracted to because their purity is taken at such a young age. Patty's life, it turns out, would become even more difficult. By the time she was 14, she says she was into drugs and alcohol. By 15, she says she lost her virginity. By 17, Patty had reached her breaking I mean, I just, point. I, I was full of shame. I've learned just it's normal and natural for anybody who's been through sexual abuse to carry that shame and that blame and feel like there's something wrong with you. So I definitely carried that. You carry that to the extent that you hurled yourself into an oncoming truck to kill yourself. It was a combination of built up over the years of the abuse and the pain and you know, at the time I was messed up with all the drugs and the alcohol. I was in a depression. During that time, Patty says with the help of a friend, she found God. And after leaving the hospital, felt like a new person, at least for six months. And then, and then... <laughs> I started hanging out with my old friends and doing the old stuff. You know, next thing you know it, I'm, I'm pregnant. Jeremy Bieber and Patty Millette had had an on-again, off-again relationship. Both of us came from broken homes, mm -hmm. so we just did the best we could with our relationship, but it was definitely very rocky. You couldn't believe it, you said, when, when the doctor said that you were pregnant. No. You made the nurse give you a second test. I did. I didn't believe it. And a lot of people encouraged you to abort the baby. I just knew I couldn't. I just knew I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I just knew I had to keep him. On March 1st, 1994, Patty gave birth to a 7-pound, 14-ounce baby boy. And while she had called the baby Jesse throughout the pregnancy, once he was born, she named him Justin. Tell us what it was like when you first heard Justin cry. Ugh, I know this sounds crazy, but he sounded like he was singing. <laughs> he Hip -hop? did. What was it? No, this <laughs> Was it my music? What was it he was singing? It was like, aha, aha. And I was like, oh my gosh, it is so precious and amazing. I just want to squeeze him. What happened when Jeremy came to see him? Jeremy couldn't stop staring at him. He just would stare for hours and hours and hours. He fell in love with him right away. Patty and Jeremy never married, ultimately ending their relationship for good. Still, Patty says Jeremy is a different person today. We're friends. We get along. And um, I love the dad that he is to Justin today. <laughs> Young Justin showed his musical talent at an early age and before long was performing on the streets of his native Canada. Then, when he was 12, Justin entered a local singing competition called Stratford Star. What you want, baby, I got it. Patty started posting videos of Justin's performances on YouTube so his grandmother, who lived in another part of Canada, could keep up with her grandson. 
that's when it all began. And that's when it all began. Never say never. Scooter Braun, a music manager living in Atlanta, had seen Justin's videos on YouTube and was relentless in trying to get in touch with Patty. Even when he finally did, though, Patty was still hesitant. You just hear all these horror stories in the industry and the teenagers and how crazy they can go. I just had to come to terms with the fact that whether he's in high school, at home, or in the industry, there's those same fears. Here, I mean, I know who's around him. I know who his security guards are. I know who his management are. I know that everybody's very protective of him and very careful. As busy and demanding as his schedule may be, Justin still finds time for his mom. He even contributed to her new memoir. You wrote the foreword for her book. Yes. You say she's the strongest woman you've ever known. Mm -hmm. What else is she? She's just been like a, a, a friend, someone who I could talk to, and a good role model. And I want to grow up and have just the heart that my mom has, because she just has, she has such a big heart. It seems Justin also has a big heart. For Patty's birthday this year, Justin wrote his mom a song and later released it for Mother's Day. Can you sing like one little line of it for us? When you're lost and you're tired, when you're broken in two, let my love take you higher and I still turn to you. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Patty has an awful lot to be proud of, and really so does Justin. He told me he thinks his mom's book is going to change a lot of people's lives. Did you guys hear that sound? Millions of teenage girls squealing. <laughs> I know, I know. They mom. have a very sweet relationship. Ryan, you were in, interviewing uh, Justin the same day, day mm -hmm. I did. He's a mama's boy. He is. Can you imagine if his name was Jesse Bieber? Would he have been as successful as Jesse Bieber? <laughs> I think so. I think so. Uh, once those YouTube videos hit, he would have been pretty successful. Yeah, not like Ronald no Bieber or Ezra Bieber. Or, it's a new one, yeah. but it could have been important. Howie. Howie Bieber. Yeah. There you go. That would have made a difference. <laughs> what do you have against Ezra? No, I like it. I'm just saying Jesse Justin is not that much different. Anyway, thank you. Thank that you. Was it was cool. a pleasure. And actually, we're going to have a lot more with Patty Millette tomorrow. Yeah. She's going to be here live on today, so we'll all get to catch up with her and meet her in person. You'll like her. Thanks, You'll Pat. like her a lot.